Are we on? I think we are. Hello, friends. <laughs> so we'll get official Daily Art Adventure 753 World of Gig Festival. Part B. <laughs> so I went around and took a bunch of photographs of the festival. Got some great stuff to to paint from later on today and tomorrow. Testing one, two, three. There we go. Pencils do not last very long at this size on this rough canvas. Oh, doggone, and then that pencil broke. Some of you missed my pencil travails early, earlier. Um, <laughs> I discovered I'm, I thought I had plenty. Anyway, you didn't come to hear me complain. But dug on it, I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> I don't know what you came here for, but at the moment I came to complain. <laughs> uh, I thought I had extras of everything, especially these black pencils. Actually bought some two days ago at Jerry's Autorama just just for this weekend. Went and left them somewhere. Oh, please, a dozen, a hundred if you insist. <laughs> please. Good. Thank you. Thank you.
So for those of you who may be just joining me uh, today, I am, let's see if I can get my monitor going right here. Oh, there's nobody joining me, okay. <laughs> That's right, I'll talk to those of you who are gonna watch me later. All right, we good? I think we are. Well, hello to those of you who join me later. My name's Dan, I'm an artist, I'm painting one of my favorite things to do is paint with my big equipment at festivals. A lot of work getting here, setting up, but once I'm here, I love it. I'm in Wilson, North Carolina. So, I don't know, 19th, 18th annual maybe, something like that, Whirly Gig Festival. And this is the 13th or 14th time year that I've been here, maybe the 15th even, I don't know. Been here a lot. Good to be back. Struggling with supplies, materials at the moment. Not only am I almost out of pencils, the one pencil sharpener that I have in this kit, which is, I tell you, such an embarrassment, because I'm the kind of guy, honestly, just a touch of OCD trying to draw the line at D but definitely OC I have I have backup systems my backup has backups my I have redundancy and so for me to get here without a pencil it's like oh, how did that happen oh my goodness so I'm gonna have to figure out something for tomorrow because I'm going through these, as I said, drawing this on this big a canvas and this rough of a canvas. Is rough of a proper grammar? It doesn't sound right, but I don't know what to say instead of that. So, in a canvas that is this rough, <laughs> I'm sure that's correct. So, Wilson, like many other small towns, small cities across North Carolina, especially eastern North Carolina, used to be a tobacco town and uh, things were great when tobacco was great when they were exporting death and destruction around the planet <laughs> I just couldn't resist that sorry <laughs> they're exporting lung cancer in boxes I'm sorry <laughs> I'm not really sorry am I if I was really sorry I'd stop saying it wouldn't I anyway I have opinions on the subject but anyway that business as you know finally fell on hard times <laughs> Humanity slapped itself on the forehead said, doggone, smoking is stupid. Now, a lot of people still do it, but they all know they're being stupid when they do it. That's the difference, see? When I was a kid, people thought they were being uber cool when they smoked. <laughs> and all the uber cool died, people died early. Not all of them, you know. We all know that one 105-year-old woman who smoked a pack a day, you know, we all know that one. <laughs> anyway. Once again, and this is surely not what you came to my channel to listen to. <laughs> so, <laughs> obviously, you're free to leave at any time. <laughs> oh man, that's a sure way to get followers. <laughs> Tell them they're welcome to leave. That's just, <laughs> that's a real winning proposition there. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> back to Wilson. So, economy, of course. I was saying that when I was drawing this big warehouse back here, which is is a uh, tobacco warehouse, of course. And uh, so back in the day, back in the day when it was cool to smoke, all these places were doing great, now they're doing terrible. But the Whirly Gig, as I talked about a whole bunch in my first broadcast, Mr. Wallace Simpson, naive, delightful old man, hello. Oh, I don't, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's, it's certainly, I get, uh, I go through a lot of white shirts. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put some light color on some of these figures here. Let me open another. One of my opaque batches here. 
my tray of paints that you can't see at the moment, I have uh, 14 containers of translucent, transparent, whoa, don't even use that word accidentally, transparent paint, and 12, I think, containers, one, two, four, six, eight, ten, eight, yeah, 12 containers of opaque uh, acrylic. So the opaque acrylics, of course, are much smaller uh, containers because my whole technique is based on, I almost said predicated upon. Then I thought, there's really no need to use that big word right now. <laughs> but I kind of like big words. Anyway, my whole technique is predicated upon. <laughs> um, transparent, transparent color. So my transparent containers are larger than my opaque ones. I'm violating my, my technique just slightly by, uh, by doing um, opaque acrylics. Normally I save all the opaque colors for the oil stage, the, the final stages, in fact, of oil. If you had to use, so I'm, I guess I'm talking to anybody who might be new or fairly new to my channel. If, if you had to use one word to describe Dan Nelson's technique, and that one word would should be um, should be transparent. I am bonkers about transparent color, even though at the moment I'm using opaque color. See, so what I'm doing right now is an exception to the rule. Um, So um, using the opaque colors is really just is a shortcut, which <laughs> just between you and me, I'm going to give myself permission to use some shortcuts when I've got two days to fill up, and not even full days, when I've got two partial days to fill up a seven and a half by lead foot canvas, then in that case, I give myself permission to use uh, Opaque, opaque uh, acrylic paint, even though it's not my usual. Got it? All right. <laughs> Enough of the lousy excuses. Let's just keep painting here, shall we? Beautiful day. It was chilly this morning. I was all bundled up with several layers. I'm quite comfortable. It's just this many layers sporting a new bow tie, I might point out. <laughs> and suspenders, also known as braces. I don't know why. I don't know if that's a regional thing. You know, are they are they called braces? Is that what old people call them? Or is that a regionalism? Maybe some part of the country where they're called braces? Anyway, I call them suspenders. New suspenders and a new bow tie. Woohoo! Um, let's, <laughs> let's talk about painting, shall we? <laughs> Some of you came here under the impression that I would talk about painting. Hello, tea time. My mom and dad. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Bless your heart. Bless your heart. 69. Um, thank you for commenting, by the way. I think you're new, aren't you? I mean, new, new commenting. Thank you so much. Um, no, I do not. Um, I have done that in years past, years, years ago. 
I used to um, sometimes sell the paintings at the festival. Um, but nowadays, um, the festival has to pay me to, to come. Um, I don't normally set up the equipment unless I get paid. <laughs> Got more crotchety in my old age. <laughs> um, so no, do not have to sell it. The festival's paying me to be here. They actually do, and, and several festivals have done this. They'll take my finished painting and sell it sometime during the coming year at, at some kind of fundraiser, you know, to help defray the cost of my participation. So they, they get some of their money back. So I like that, I like that system just fine. Um, here, since there's some new people watching, let me turn you around and show you where I am, show you what I'm painting. Hang on, get my, there we go, sorry about all the shaking there. There we go, so that's basically what I'm looking at, it's, it's getting much more happy festive looking now that the weather is warmed up and more people are showing up so I'm looking at a view something like that uh, nah it's much wider than that anyway and uh, just for what it's worth here's here's whoops <laughs> Here, here's my some whoa here's some of my equipment in a second that camera is not supposed to fall off there we go so there's some of my equipment, there's some of my paints I was talking about a few minutes ago. I'm standing on a platform about three and a half feet off the ground. Let's get back to work then. I built this equipment um, 17 years ago, 2000, uh, 2002, spent 10 weeks full-time full intense labor build designing building it that's a part of another story don't need to get into right now that's in case you wonder where do you get an easel like this <laughs> and by the way I am looking for who in the world am I going to sell this to when I'm done with it not anytime soon I hope but you have to think about this thing it was originally designed not only for me to paint from, but also for me to perform music from. And that's what I did back in, oh, about 2004 to 2008. I not only painted, I played. I play a number of instruments, guitar, trumpet, blues harp, flutes and whistles, mainly, along with a whole bevy of electronics. So it was definitely a multimedia machine. Still has all that capabilities, but I don't normally get people don't hire me at a festival to play music. So it doesn't fit into the festival shtick very much for me to play. going to do at least three paintings on this on this uh, canvas this weekend and I'll mostly fill up mostly fill up the entire canvas not necessarily every square inch but most of it Actually, getting kind of close to um, being able to move on to oils on this painting. And closer than I thought. It's been moving right along. Had a pretty good clip. I took about an hour break a little while ago and walked all over the festival. It covers 10 or more blocks, maybe 20, and uh, took a bunch of pictures because. Some of the other paintings here are going to be 
scenes from the festival. Hey! I brought you some lunch. Oh, wonderful. Uh, fortunately, I couldn't. This is all I can carry at a time. Okay. Well, okay. Great. Would you like to take it up there? I'm going to just hand it to me. It's, it's from Tiggs. I tried to get you a smoothie and I tried my best and it kept work, not working out. Okay, thanks. Um, yep. Tiggs is the place to side Tiggs. Now you get to hear me eat. Okay. Paint with one hand and eat with the other. Welcome. My world. Those are people, by the way, <laughs> in case I need to point that out. <laughs> what are those white blobs? Those are people, can't you tell? There. I really am sorry to eat in front of you.
Sorry, folks, to be so mute. While I eat, try not to crunch in your ear.
All right, just paint with two hands like a real artist. Enough of this silly one-handed painting stuff. You're driving me crazy. Get some red clothes in here, what do you say? Lots of red in the whirly gig. The whirly gigs are predominantly primary colors, mostly red, red, white, and blue, yellow, a smidgen of everything else. Pretty brightly colored. I think I might actually be ready to go to um, the oils on this one. Yay. I've done a little bit more um, opaque color than, than normal for the, acrylic, for the acrylic stage. I talked about that earlier. When I'm painting this large, <clears throat> tend to take just a few more shortcuts and painting in acrylic painting in uh, pa using a opaque colors in acrylic is definitely a, a shortcut opaque colors aren't quite as vibrant as transparent ones so that's why I usually restrict my opaque <clears throat> but of course this is all going to get a glaze on top of it so the problem if you will of uh, opacity will be greatly diminished <clears throat> I just realized this, there's a brick facing on this front of this stage I think that little bit of <clears throat> orange brick color actually look good here so let's add that <clears throat> abstract stuff there. All right, I think that'll do. Okay, tell you what then, this is quite a, quite a process getting transitioned from, from acrylics to oil. So I'm gonna end this broadcast right here. Nice and short and sweet, and I all said almost nothing. At least you can't accuse me of having any rants this time around. <laughs> and uh, let me see, 
I should have time to read all your chats then. Let me see if anything I particularly need to get. I already mentioned tea time. Welcome to you. Uncle 60, welcome back. <laughs> These are indeed acrylics at the moment. <clears throat> And as I said, I'm about to switch over to oil. Thanks for watching. I'll be back in a little while. So if, you, if you're subscribed, if you've clicked the bell, you'll receive a notification when I start broadcasting. Thanks, y'all. Bye-bye.